All right, welcome back, everybody. 12 minutes after on this Monday. Let's get back to a stock we talked about just moments ago, New York Community Bank Corp. The stock is down this year, underperforming the broader S&P mid-cap 400 index. But is this a stock you want to own? Well, here to talk about the outlook for the company is CEO Joseph Ficalora and also our own Zara Burton, who just profiled uh, this company coming up in a search. Welcome. Thank you. Good right. to be here. Well, let's talk initially, though, about the financial environment. We were talking in the break beforehand. Very different from where we were last year, but how would you characterize it at this point? I'd, I'd say that in the New York market in particular, uh, we are lagging behind the rest of the nation with regard to uh, the evolving credit cycle. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a long, difficult credit cycle. New York City is going to have a significant amount of loss given this significant amount of uh, excess funding that was available in New York over the last five years. So there's going to be a good deal of value depreciation uh, in the New York market. But importantly, our particular business model was set in the last cycle turn. So 87 through 92, when banks were in great difficulty in New York on multifamily loans and Bowery American Greater Dollar right, right. all went out of business, we had zero losses. In fact, we've had zero losses in our principal asset for three decades. The concern, though, is that you're non-performing loans. That seems to be a concern. That Correct. It's going up, yep. right? Let's, let's, I understand that it's low, but it's definitely going up. My question to you is, do you think that it's going up at a faster rate than you currently anticipated no. or you expected? No. no. For the last year, we've been talking about our non-performing assets in the last cycle. So when we had 242 basis points in non-performing assets in the last cycle, as difficult as it was, we lost zero. In but fact, are you reserved enough for this? Oh, sure. Even though, well, yeah. well, if you lose zero... You have excess reserves. Our reserve today is low to loans, but extremely high to losses. So our reserves actually cover our losses better than all the large 19 banks. And in essence, there aren't any banks that have better reserves than we have to losses. I'm not, I'm not talking about every bank in the country. I'm talking about any of the large banks. So when you think about our reserves, our reserves are to cover actual losses. Our losses are extremely low. So comparatively, we do extremely well. So even though your non-performing loans almost doubled Correct. in the second quarter, Correct. you're saying you don't have to worry about that? Correct. And, and investors and, and, shouldn't be worried about it either? Exactly, because we actually have a track record that demonstrates we can have very high non-performing and very, very, very little in losses. We've actually had that before. We expect to have that again. And, and as This you environment isn't different, though, as you know, what no, we've no, gone through. The differences in the environment are material. However, the differences in our portfolio, the bulk of our portfolio, right. are de minimis. So although we have losses, these losses aren't in the, in the largest components of our portfolio. 71% of our loans are multifamily, 21% are commercial, right. many of which are multifamily. Are the, well, those seems to be a problem area too, right? Let, let me ask you a real quick question about the acquisition strategy that you want sure. to employ. How close are you to finding a bank or a bad asset that you want to acquire? Let you me, had said something about this. Year. Let, me, let me identify the fact that our business model was designed in 93 to do deals with the FDIC to create better banks. If we do a deal, for example, in Texas, and we have loss share, and we have a, a partner in the deal that's going to be servicing all of those assets, and in fact, we have the ability to make money by lending more money in the New York market, we will accretively create an opportunity for our shareholders because we'll increase our earnings dramatically, we'll have de minimis risk of loss because mm -hmm. the loss risk is going to be governed by the fact that within those markets that are not ours, we're not lending. We, in fact, lend through conduits outside of our niche. So we're lending today in Brooklyn, not through our branches. We would not be lending in Texas or in California through our branches. We'd be lending through conduits, which would accommodate our local customers, but not create portfolio risk. So we have a business model that actually lends to the community without creating asset risk. So if we're sitting in South Jersey or we're sitting in, in South Florida or we're sitting in Southern California, it doesn't matter. Our business model operates more efficiently than everybody else on the retail side. Mm -hmm. We generate our assets here, and we have lots of reasons why we believe we can generate substantially more assets here as the cycle evolves. And, and are you close to doing any kind of acquisition? Well, it's very hard to say that. We are why is it hard to say that? Because, because we're dealing with auctions. So until you get the final decision, you don't know whether somebody is underbid. Mm -hmm. and, and there's no question that... So right now you're actively bidding? Correct. Okay. Well, what I should say is we are actively participating in the process. 
And we will bid whenever we deem the particular circumstance justifiable to bid. Can you tell us who you're bidding on? No. Okay. What about the FDIC? Because, of course, that's a big issue for you guys as far as um, there's this push, of course, to increase capital for sure. banks. Sure. How is that going to affect we, you? And do you believe that you're on, on, on an, in an uneven um, playing field from the larger we, banks? We, we obviously increased capital last year. Within a year, we went to the public markets, increased capital in the most highly regarded uh, secondary offering in the market in the year 2008. So from the standpoint of our ability to create capital, we have many investor partners who will step to the plate and invest in a deal that we identify. We identify a good deal, they're in. So our ability to generate excess capital, meaning that in a deal we will generate more capital than we need and we'll support that with earnings real earnings. Right. We'll be issuing capital okay. with supportive earnings. Okay. Safe to say, though, maybe in a couple of months we'll hear some kind of deal closing? It's Got entirely possible. Here. We are actively in the market. Okay. All right. We'll just wait that one out. Joe, thank you so much for your thank time. You. We appreciate thank it. You Joseph Ficalora, CEO of New York Community Bank Corp.